We have money for BBI, which will only benefit only a few people at the top, the kingpins. It will, BBI will not solve your problems. They only want to benefit at the top so that they can share. We can have money for BBI, but we have no money to build schools that our children learn under the trees. Then the CS talks about it is good for oxygen. We don't lack oxygen even in classes. Our, country, our, our counties cannot receive 15% of the allocation, which is constitutional. Then you want to argue to me that the BBI comes and solves all your problems and gives you 35. If you can't give 15, how do you give 35? Why the lie? Let me remind Kenyans that when your tribal man becomes the president or takes the five top seats as per the proposal of the BBI, you will remain poor. Ask those people, those tribes that have produced president, have they benefited from it? No, they are even poorer. Politicians have their agenda to eat and loot this country. What we need, we as Kenyans, are opportunities for employment, roads, networks, markets for our produce, quality health care, and quality education for every Ke Kenyan. No wonder the president the other day confessed that two billion shillings are lost every day. Now, you know Mr. President, he is not just a simple guy. When a whole president confesses that two billion shillings are lost, believe it, it's true. Mr. President, thank you for the confession that we are all thieves minus opportunities. But what does that tell you? Mr. President, you have the EACC, you have the DPP, you have the NIS, you have every government machinery at your disposal. Either the government knows who steals the Kenyan money or the government is part of the stealing. What are you telling Kenyans when you confess such? That you are defeated? Who will save then this country if the president cannot save us?